Mountain Engine. Sir Handel had had a bad day. The old coaches, Agnes, Ruth, Lucy, Jemima and Beatrice had been awkward. They had made him slip to a standstill twice. He was furious. Those castle trucks should be scrapped. He fumed. Scarlowy was shocked. I won't have it. He protested. Those old dears need kindness, not bad names. Exactly so. Agreed Reneas. He winked at Scarlowy. You be thankful, Sir Handel, that we're not on a mountain railway. A mountain railway? What's that? A railway which climbs mountains, of course. But, but it can't, said Sir Handel. Its engine's wheels would slip. But it can, said Renaise firmly. We've heard of one quite near here. It can't. It can. A noisy argument started just as Donald shunted the flat truck to the siding nearby. On the truck was a queer-looking engine. He had six small wheels and a stovepipe chimney. His boiler was tilted downwards and the cylinders were back to front. Whish! whispered Donald hoarsely. Didn't know wake the way engine. It's tired he is. He's away back from England after being mended. He can know how it is. We understand. But who is he? He's called Goldie. After the mountain his railway climbs. Well, well did you ever... Did you ever... Exclaimed the two old engines. They looked at Sir Handel and chuckled. I don't believe it, said Sir Handel. Oh, you'd best ask him yourself. Then maybe you'll learn it's the truth I've been telling you. Donald puffed away, offended. Caldy woke to find the engines gazing at him. Where am I? He asked. They told him. That's good, he said. I'm nearly home now. Do you really climb mountains? Asked Scarlowy. I've done it for years. You must be clever. We couldn't. Our wheels would slip. I'm not really clever. Laughed Caldy. I was just strong like that. Like what? With pinion wheels on my driving axles. They have teeth, you see, which fit into a rack rail. I can't slip, however steep the line is. That, said Vanessa, must help you going up. But if your line is so steep, aren't you frightened on coming down? Why? We have good brakes. Coaches. Went on Renes. Oh, it's sometimes silly. And try to push us downhill. Some engines find it hard to stop them. Sir Handel blushed and looked at his buffers. Our coaches. Answered Coldy. Are never silly like that. They know such tricks are dangerous. I've never had that sort of accident. But... He went on thoughtfully. I was frightened once. Very frightened indeed. Please tell, tell us, us, said all the engines. One day, long ago, before our line was opened, our drivers made all five of us engines stand ready outside our shed. The inspector's coming, they said. We don't know which one of you he'll choose. He chose me, climbed into my cab, and made me push two coaches to summit. So far, so good, he said. Now we'll test your brakes. So he went and stood on the steepest part of the line. Down, down it fell, with a nasty curve below, edging a priest piece. Brakes off, driver, let him roll. Ooh! Gasped the little engines in horror. The coaches nudged me. We gathered speed downhill. I was terrified. My driver's hand stole to the brake. Hands off, ordered the inspector. Then I remembered my automatic brakes. I could put the ease on myself. Perhaps the inspector wanted to see if I could. They worked beautifully. Well done, Colty, said the inspector. You'll do. I smiled, of course, but felt very shaky. My driver and fireman mopped their faces. They'd been nervous, too. I'm never nervous now, finished Colty. Why should I be? There's no need.